Good afternoon. For those who are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman. And in today's briefing, we will be discussing SCP-6599. There isn't any objectionable material in this document. Although looking at the item number, if I hear the word nice or the phrase 99, you're all getting Ketter duty. With that out of the way, let's begin. Item number SCP-5699. Classification level 2. Restricted. Containment class Esoteric. Secondary class Serenos. Disruption class Eki. Risk class Notice. Special Containment Procedures As proper complete containment of SCP-5699 requires the use of mass incarceration of affected individuals, lockdowns of major metropolitan areas, and extensive application of Class A amnestics, containment of SCP-5699 has been indefinitely suspended. As SCP-5699 typically affects individuals experiencing trauma and emotional instability, Containment specialists assigned to SCP-5699 have noted that witnesses regard SCP-5699 as a hallucination or an extended period of delirium. As such, the O5 Council have ruled that SCP-5699 does not require active containment. Description SCP-5699 is a white class Footnote 1 Designates a spectral anomaly that possesses helpful or benevolent characteristics spectral anomaly or group of entities resembling a hooded figure with a mirrored reflective glass plane in the place of a head. SCP-5699 presents itself towards individuals experiencing significant emotional turmoil, with an increased appearance rate if an individual is either considering or attempting suicide. Upon arrival to a compromised individual, SCP-5699 will silently observe a subject for approximately five minutes' time. After SCP-5699's disappearance, a message written in the fog of the mirror or other reflective surface within the vicinity of the subject will manifest. Messages written typically showcase affection or a positive experience in the subject's life. A brief showing of collected messages is transcribed below. You held my hand as I said goodbye to her and walked me home shielding my eyes from the new mothers. You stayed with me. You hadn't even thought of leaving me. The little old lady in the hospital who sat at the windowsill, screaming at nothing outside, was comforted by your hand. It wasn't her granddaughters who hadn't been there, both in hospital and in life. But you did. You stood by her, gently holding her hand. You bought me a dress and helped me with the straps. You told me I was pretty and loved and that the girl who had been inside of me the whole time was finally free. The tea was cold, too much sugar and cream. The tea bag was split in half, leaving a mug with tea leaves at the bottom. Half of it was spilt on the bed, but you brought it for me when I was sick and shivering. You told me that you believed me. The haggard man who would lie by the garbage bags piled near the pub, who would rest and sleep by a brick wall, was fed by you. Of course you didn't cook anything, but you bought the soup with your own pocket money. You gave me your beloved dolly. Prom was less lonely with you. You hugged me when nobody would. You didn't know that it wasn't contagious, only through blood, and even if you still would have shown me kindness. The birdies in the park were well fed after a long winter. You held my hand and fanned my cheek as the monitor dipped and swooned. You gripped my hand, holding onto my wedding ring as the beep grew loud, and would gently stroke my arm as the beeps grew silent. Addendum number one. The following message was discovered on Dr. Ronald Pearson's bathroom mirror. Footnote 2. Research lead on the SCP-5699 project. Dr. Pearson suffers from severe bouts of depression. You let me be free from the cell. You let me wander and love. You helped me. You did everything that your name and place would balk. So I will be free and help others be free in their own way. I won't forget you. You are loved by me. 
don't forget that. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.